Hello, Siti. Hello, Mr. Aris. Do you still remember our lesson on constructing sentences? The one with a given picture and make sentences with some words given below it? Yes, Siti. That's the one. Of course, Mr. Aris. That was an exciting lesson. I can still recall the example given. It was a picture of a flood. That's right, Siti. Today, we are going to practice making more sentences based on a given picture. As usual, the picture given can be of activity, an incident, an occasion, an event or other situation. Now, let's look at the picture and tell me what you see, Siti. It is a picture of a school canteen day and I have to make five sentences from the picture. What are the words given? The words are school, stall, visitor, neatly, caps, hung, baskets, table, banner, selling. This should be interesting. I'm ready to start, Mr. Aris. Well, just like the previous lessons, you should know by now what you have to be ready with before constructing your sentences. Yes, Mr. Aris. I have to be familiar with the nouns or naming words, the verbs or action words, the adjective or descriptive words, and adverbs which add meaning to something. Absolutely right, Siti. But not only those, you have to pay attention to your tenses too. Yes, Mr. Aris, I remember that I need to use the same tense form for all the five sentences too. Good. And another point worth to note is to read your sentences after constructing them. Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. That's quite a deal to remember. It is not about memorizing them one by one, City. It comes along with regular practice. Since this is an examination, you will be assessed on specific things such as grammatically correct sentences, usage of language, and expression of ideas. Mmm. Okay. I think I can do all that. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express ideas. Ideas must be clearly presented and linked well. Correct use of spelling and punctuation is necessary. Wow! This means I must be very careful when making sentences. Yes, let's look at the picture again. It's going to be fun making sentences. Here are some words to help you. Save them out, City. School, stall, visitors, cats, baskets, table, banner, classmates. Do you know what they are called? They are naming words or nouns. Good. Now, what do you call this word, City? Big, red, small.
small, colorful. They are adjectives. Good, Siti. Can you give me some verbs related to the picture? They can be action words like help, open, hang. Very well, Siti. I think you are now ready to construct your sentences. Let me start with the first one. Our school had a canteen day. Hmm. A good start. But I'm sure you can add a little more information to that, such as time or day when it was held. Okay. Our school held a canteen day last Saturday. That's good. The next sentence. My classmates and I open a stall. Well, that sentence too can be expanded using the given words. My classmates and I opened a stall selling t-shirts and caps. That sentence is already good, but maybe you can make it sound a little better by using adjectives. All right, I know. How does this sound? My classmates and I open a stall selling colorful t-shirts and caps. Very good, Siti. Now, I believe you are ready to make three more good sentences. Some t-shirts were hung up. Some t-shirts were placed in big baskets. Well, those two sentences can be combined to become one city. Let me try again. Some of the t-shirts were hung up and some were placed in big baskets. Excellent. Now you have two more sentences to make. The next one would be the caps were arranged on a table. Well, maybe you can use one of the words in the list to improve on this sentence. I know. I think it should sound like this. The caps were neatly arranged on a table. Yes, that's right. How about your last sentence now? I think I'm ready with that. We hung a banner across the stall to welcome visitors. That's wonderful, Siti. You have completed all the five sentences. Let's recall some important points in our discussion. Use the keywords to help you only if you know their meaning. Be careful with the tenses used. Read your sentences after you have made them to check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Use a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. A lot of reading shall help you on this one. Okay, before we wrap up, let's listen to all the five sentences you have constructed, Siti. Our school held a canteen day last Saturday. My classmates and I open a stall selling colorful t-shirts and caps. Some of the t-shirts were hung up and some were placed in big baskets. The caps 
were neatly arranged on a table. We hung a banner across the stall to welcome visitors. All right, Siti. That's all for now. Till we meet again. Bye bye. Bye, Mr. Aris. Bye, friends. Bye bye.